Are you in a battle right now? Are you weary and torn out because of the battle? Is it feeling like the battle is getting the better of you and you are losing ground? Well, I've got good news for you then today because God is in your battle and God will intervene in your battle. God will never leave you alone in your battles. So I'm going to share with you a piece of scripture that God laid upon my heart to share with you. And it is in Isaiah chapter 31 and in verse 3 it says, He is a God who does what He says. Now that excites me a lot because I can trust God. I can rely on God because He is a God who does what He says. He is His Word. Remember John chapter 1? He is the Word. The Word is God and God is the Word. He is His Word. That is why you have to value God's opinion over every situation in your life so much. I value His opinion because God the Master has the last word and He says He will do exactly what He said He will do. I can trust Him. You can trust Him. Thank you, Lord, that we can rely on You. Thank you, God, that we can trust on You. Thank you, Lord, that when You say something, You will do exactly what You say. Thank you, Lord, I hold on to Your Word today. I hold on to the very Word You have spoken to me today. And I know that You will fulfill it and you will do exactly what you said you will do. I praise you. I, I, I glorify your name because you will do exactly what you said you will do. And then in verse 4, it says, this is what God told me, like a lion, king of the beast that gnaws and chews and worries its prey, not faced in the least by a bunch, bunch of shepherds who arrive to chase it off. So God of the angel armies comes down to fight on Mount Zion to make war from its heights. Oh wow, this is so amazing to me. The scripture, I live in Africa and I can see this picture, a lion on the hunt. Oh yes, I can see it in my spirit quietly and smoothly the lion is coming in for the kill he see his prey and he moves toward it the prey don't even know he, he is close he doesn't know he's near but the lion can see the prey and you know what the, one of the things I've learned from hunting is that you have to stay behind the wind they, they must not pick up your smell so you must be behind the wind and in this case it is so important because God's Holy Spirit is the wind that moves with me I need to stay behind the wind of the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit teach me to to stay behind you to follow in your footsteps Holy Spirit today I want to follow where you lead in this battlefield I want to follow where you lead me in the mighty name of Jesus so the God of angel armies comes down. It is so amazing that, that the word used, the word God of the angel armies, it means God has an army full of angels ready to fight the battle for you. God is ready. And listen what God wants to do. He says, I will protect and rescue it. I will hover and deliver. Isn't this amazing? You know, when I first read the word hover, it is in Genesis 1, with the creation of the earth and the world. And the, it says there, the Holy Spirit was hovering over the, the, the water. Say, So what is happening when you start praying the word of God? 
the Holy Spirit is hovering above your promise, above your circumstances. He awaits the word of God through your mouth. You have to speak it. And when you speak the word, the Holy Spirit starts creating and starts moving in. And this is what is happening here. So God says, I will protect and I will rescue you. Now, isn't this amazing to think about that, that God is moving in with the angel armies. The Holy Spirit is ready to move in and to do something in your battlefield. Now, start praying this and thank God that the Holy Spirit is with you now, gives you wisdom and show you the next step that you have to go and trust God to lead you through His Holy Spirit because He will protect and rescue you. He will hover and deliver you. And then in verse 6 and 7 is the key. He says, Repent and return, dear Israel. This is very important because you will not win a battle if you do not repent and return to God. And He says there that you to the, uh, uh, he says, return to the one you so cruelly abandoned. You see, we abandon God sometimes. And we move in our own power and in our own strength. But God wants to fight the battle for you. He wants to be with you in this battle. And He wants to send His angel armies in so that He can win the battle for you. Trust Him. Don't abandon God. Don't fight in your own strength. And then when you return to God, you will be rescued. You will be protected. And I pray that God will lead you today and that you will be protected and that the Holy Spirit will hover on over you, awaiting the word of God so that you will speak the word of God. Speak it out loud so that the devil can hear, so that your spirit can hear the word of God. Speak it out loud right now. Start praying God's word. Speak it out loud. Declare the word of, of the Lord because God the Master has the last word. I give you Jesus. Arise, lioness. Arise.